Hey everybody, it's Tron Unicorn. So I have a very big day today. I am going right now to get on a subway to go meet my old friend, Lisa from Kingston, Ontario. So I lived in Kingston for like 10 years when I was going to school there. Basically me and her both dated two guys that were like best friends and like lived in a frat house. And so that's how we became friends. So uh, our friendship lasted a long time longer than both of our relationships. So uh, let's put it that way. I had a tremendous amount of fun with Lisa in Kingston. We used to go to the bar a lot called Filthy McNasties. We used to dance on the bar and I mean on top of the bar, uh, especially after we had a few drinks. And she was always good times, good energy. And just like any other good friend, when I went through a hard time and everybody goes through hard times, you know, I kind of stopped going to the bar and I was like gaining weight and like getting a bit depressed. And she was the only one of my friends that I vividly remember holding on and still trying to be a friend to me, even though I had lost some of the, you know, the fun side of my, of my life. And uh, all this time, I thought the world of her. She uh, moved away, basically had a bunch of kids with an awesome guy that basically is, you know, him and her relationship give me hope that there's one person out there for me too, maybe. Uh, and basically, I haven't even met a couple of her kids because it's been so long since we've seen each other. The last time I saw Lisa, I'm pretty sure I was still kind of, I was in Toronto, but I was like starting, I was struggling still to like get my, my vibe back. The reason I'm so excited is because I'm going to go meet her today and I'm going to come out to her as Toronto Unicorn. I am literally going to say, not only have I gotten better, not only have I gotten kind of like my vibe and like my, you know, my thing back. It kind of blew up and frankly now I do this crazy thing called Tron Unicorn and I go to sex clubs and I'm a swinger and I have a YouTube channel and an OnlyFans page and a merch line and now a podcast and uh, speaking arrangements you know it's just it's just kind of snowballed and so I'm so so excited to be able to see Lisa today to give her a hug hear about her life and also kind of drop the bombshell that you know, after all these years, something kind of crazy happened to me. So I'm really thrilled. I can't wait to introduce you to, to the world or introduce her to you because she has the most magnetic and wonderful energy. Uh, and I can't wait to, uh, to show Lisa all about what's, what, what I've been up to. So stay tuned. It's going to be a very fun day and a very emotional day too. She knows that I'm a unicorn in Toronto, right? And that I've had a threesome. Yes. And that I... Can we go to the club, please? A club. Yes. And that I had a lingerie Instagram. Yes, taking photos. And then what, what's next? Do you know anything that happened next? I just figure that it's going to go up from there. <laughs> okay, so that's all she knows. So this is straight up me coming out to my friend. So um, a lot has happened since then. I got a tiny little eclair, not a big one, because sometimes size does matter and sometimes you want to go on the smaller side so sometimes this is all you can handle mm. Mm. this is Lisa taking a very seductive first lick of her coat okay very <laughs> you, you need your own only fans at this point <laughs> I just got home and I did get a little bit of a sun, sunburn on only one side, I think, which is going to be really awkward at Oasis the next time I go. But basically, I had a really, really wonderful time. If you want to see the extended part of this video and actually see what I say to Lisa when I tell her all about my Toronto Unicorn life, I put that in a separate video for you. So you just have to click on your screen or you can find the link in your description.